Hi guys, it's me, Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the day that I show you what happens when you press the wrong button. That's all it took. Um, yeah. I do want to say, if you happen to see I'm having some problems I don't know if you can make out what ex how swollen my hands are. So if I drop, if anything <laughs> starts dropping, that's why. I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Okay, I'll just start first. We have the Fenty Skin Fat Water. You guys know that I am obsessed with this. Um, this these oh, oh I should say all these were in my loves category at Sephora. Um, at least when I was putting stuff there, I thought I was putting them into my loves category. Anyway, we'll get there. So this stuff, if you guys haven't tried it, yet, it's a toner uh, by Fenty Skin, and it's wonderful. So we have that next. Lord have mercy. Another one from Fenty Skin I'm obsessed with. This is the Cherry Dub uh, Super Fine Face Scrub. I keep it in the shower and like every three days. It's so gentle. It. I, I tried to check on this a while back. It does not say that you can't use it every day. But I wouldn't. I do it about every three days, and it's, it smells so good. Uh, here we go. So we got that. Next, and I'm just pulling out at random, from In Beauty Project. This is a Sun Balm SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Lip Balm with Squalene, Hobo Oil, Mango, and Shea Butter. And it's in pink. This is what it looks like. And... I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Let's see. Okay. This is what it. This is what it looks like. And. All right. I really. I don't know if you guys can see. It's pink. I haven't. Haven't done anything with it yet because I'm. This side is healed. This side is almost healed. I'm having to keep uh, stuff on it consistently and I found that the JLo Beso Balm that came in the uh, icon box that seems to be doing the trick with lip insurance. I uh, keep that on the side too. I got another Olaplex and um, I have never used this. I give them to Kathy but I might try this one. I'm My hair is not doing anything so hey you be a good girl you should be a good girl you're supposed to go out there oh lord i don't know if you can see her no you can't see her from there um uh, it's the cat that's not supposed to be in here oh she left all right okay <laughs> it just gets worse and worse uh, dior mascara this is the iconic over curl it, um, the only Dior mascara that I had was a brown one, so I decided that I wanted to put in my basket a black one. Here it is. Beautiful packaging, as always. Let's see if I can get it open. I'm not sure, guys. Uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Here's the wand. There we go. If you can see it. Yeah. So, it just smells like mascara. Alright, so that was there. And next, from Fenty Skin, also, it's their Lux Balm Ultra Hydrating Cherry Lip Balm. So, you know, that's why I got it. It, it caught me. It was the cherry. Alright. Oh, goodness. I 
Uh, I'm working on it. This is going to be a slightly longer video because I can't do anything fast right now. I've been working on my own makeup, which I will go over because there's a couple of things I needed to tell you about. I was surprised how tiny this looks. And uh, full disclosure, I have used this. But I stopped using it when I had this cut on my lip that I had to... This is just what it looks like. And you guys, I want to eat this. It smells really super good. Kind of like I want to eat the chocolate bronzer stick from Too Faced. That one's really good too. Okay, next. And I hadn't even... This is from Fenty. Why do I have so much from Fenty? I'm not sure. But these were this is the new blushes they came out with and when you see what color double check your orders people <laughs> that's all i can say okay and these are a lot smaller than i thought this is what it looks like and uh get ready <laughs> you guys what on earth here it is I'll wear it. You guys know I'll wear it. It's, but it, it what am I going to wear it with? That one will have to be figured out. I, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I can't get this little paper. Instead of plastic, it's got paper on it. So, that's, that's okay. <sighs> Next. I, when I put this on, it, it was waiting because it was sold out. This is the new Givenchy Prisma, Prisma Libre um, 4 Color Loose Powder. This is Light Complexion 03. However, this one is mattifying and blurring setting loose powder. It doesn't look packaging wise any different from the other um, one that they had but mattifying and blurring is that's the difference so I'm not going to take this one out it looks exactly the same I did not think this was going to be in anytime soon but I was very wrong okay <laughs> uh, I'll pick this I ordered another one of the brow gels from Melt because I like the one that uh, I got so much and they're marked down from $22 to $12.50 so that's all this is, is another brow gel here's Merit this is a signature lip and it is in ginger I haven't even I don't even know what this one looks like this is how haphazard this was. There's the pretty component. It says merit on the front. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. That's... I hope you're able to see this. Uh, I'm not going to swatch it right at this time. Okay. Oh boy, next. I don't know really how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Is it Refi? Refi? I don't know. I don't have... I don't think I have anything by them. But this is their concealer. Anti... And it says Sadness, which I'm, I'm assuming means anti-crease. Uh, I have it in shade... Shade is that? You can barely see it. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't see what shade it is. It's never a good thing. And it's not in English. And let me see if I can. Nope, I can't. I, I'll put it like this. Maybe y'all can see what it is. Uh, I'm not going to open this one. It's still sealed. Yeah, okay. Next, I got the Cali Ray uh, 
uh, mascara because I only have one of those little samples and I love this stuff. I'm actually wearing, I used the little one uh, for today uh, on my, on my, on my what guys? <laughs> my lashes. All right. So I'm not going to open this, but yeah. Wow. Oh, let me just pull these out. Of course, I got samples. Samples. They just... Uh, this one, I don't think I'm going to be able to use at all. It's for the Yves Saint Laurent uh, All Hours Foundation. But if you look at the back, the one on top is coming across... Oh, oh my goodness. It's coming across as not... So, uh, it looks kind of light, but if you're looking at it in person, it's not light. Unless it's the plastic during the, uh, we'll see. I'll probably open this when Kathy gets here at the beginning of September. Um, then we got an actual sample of the Armani Foundation, which is, um, yeah, here we go. I might try this one because I, it looks like I could use this, this, and maybe even that one. Not this one. I still have... Kathy takes these and gives them to a friend of hers. So, alright. And the last sample is uh, also... It's Lancome. And uh, this I've used before. Uh... I, I liked it. This one, thank God, was not in my... Uh, cart uh, that would have just been horribly worse okay the next is glowy super gel from say and this one is the new one that's in rose glow uh, let's see Is it a pull or is it a... Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. I'll go ahead and put it. I know I'm going to be using this. Okay. That's what it looks like. And let me... Okay. And that's what it... That's just what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... We will see, because I've been looking forward to this, the color. I have, I don't know what it's called. I always get it wrong. It's like star glaze or something like that. But I have that one. So, and this right here is a uh, mini. So, thank, that's another thank God for that. Uh, let me wipe my hands off. Okay, and yes, we're still going. Okay. You guys, this is Dior, and this is the Stick Tint, the new one that came out. Forever Skin Perfect, $52. Like I said, I have to flee the country now. All right. This is what it looks like. It's heavy. It's uh, I, I couldn't hurt anybody with it, but it's heavy. And I have it in 1.5 neutral. No. Oh, they go all out. This has the little uh, thing in there. And... Oh. Oh, no. You guys. I didn't, nothing I have from them is scented. It smells like, oh, do I want to even be open about this? I could just say perfume. It smells like a very strong perfume. Why would they do that? I'm thinking it'll dissipate when, once it's open. Um, okay, this is going to be one of those that just going to have to try it and see what happens. 
wow, I'm disappointed. This was one of the, even though it wasn't supposed to be there or I, and I wasn't supposed to get it yet, this was one of the things I was most excited about. So we will see. The next thing is also from Dior. So you guys, you know how much trouble I'm in just by what you've seen so far. This is Maximizer 4D. It's Lash Primer Serum. Oh yeah. Wow. Remember the little doodad that we had, or I had that we couldn't figure out, well, I couldn't figure out because it was shaped weird, but it did make the lashes ba bam so this is it right here. Uh, I think the originally the price of it caught me off guard. It's thirty-three dollars. Uh, I can't get it open, guys. I'm sorry, uh, but it's nice packaging, nice, nice and weighty. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll have two more things to show you that were in a haul that was never meant to be. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, we have the, this is the LYS Beauty No Limits Matte Bronzer. And I just love their packaging. I really do. Um, I'm starting to have more and more products from LYS. And right now, of course I haven't tried this. I have not, not liked anything I have. I like everything I've gotten from them. You guys, is this not cute? I mean, really, come on. <laughs> And there's the bronzer. I, I can't wait to dig in. Lastly, uh, the, this is the Tarte 25th wed Wedding. <laughs> this is the Tarte 25th Anniversary Palette. And I think it's called Reflections. Is it? Yeah, Reflections is right here. Um... I'm not a Tarte fan. I've never been a Tarte fan. But I do have the Maneater 2 palette and I love that one. There's a couple that I have saved off. I don't know why. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. Now, this is, this is stunning. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's got... Even the little thing on the front is pretty. This is, let me do it upside down so you can see the whole thing. <laughs> okay, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. In person, even more so. Um, this isn't, this is the first thing that's interested me in Tarte in a long time with a $52 price tag. So, in the comment section, just for what I've showed you just now, because I'm going to show you a couple of things that came in that were actually ordered, how much do you think all this cost that I've shown you? Give me a ballpark. I don't know. Just, I'm curious to see how much you guys think went through. Let me, I'll tell you really quickly what I did, because it took me a while to figure it out. Uh, because I was so tired, I guess. I was putting things, you know, I was going through, and I like that, I like that, or I want that, I want that. I'm going to put this in there because I think I might want it, but maybe not. Anyway, when I was done for, I thought, okay, maybe I can go to sleep now. I'm, this was like, I don't know, one thirty in the morning. I got to where I was that and I'm, I thought okay I'm gonna buy one of the items I don't even know at this point which one it was but I went straight to checkout and hit the button without remembering to put the items in the loves category so I got everything that was put in there at once I don't know if anybody has ever done that before, but I felt like a complete idiot because I didn't check my um, bank statement or bank account 
until the next morning and literally had a heart attack. I had to call the bank and I couldn't return it because believe it or not, in that space of time, Sephora had sent everything out. It was already gone. You have an, And I read there where they tell you what's going on. You have one hour to cancel the order. Well, it was way past that. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, that's what I did. Anyway, so now I have all this stuff. And I guess I have a lot to show you guys. <laughs> I do do want to show you, um, I know you guys know about the, uh, um, the ordinary, the things, I already showed you that, we have the multi-peptide eye serum, I haven't done anything with that, but I have started using this, and I, it doesn't say anything, but, you know, it, it indicates it's for the face, but I haven't done this, but to me, you could also use it like somewhere else, like maybe your arms. It's you only need like a dot, and this stuff goes over. It feels oily at first, and you're you know, ew, but then all of a sudden, it's gone. It's just gone. It just goes right into your skin, and it feels soft. So I'm still. This is still in. Um, to me testing it out but so far I am loving this and the only reason I'm re-showing it to you it's still on sale um, so is this the, the eye serum okay now down to the last part of the uh, ordering these were supposed these were ordered before this nightmare um, I don't know if you remember, or if y'all remember, when we got the steel eye, uh, patches in, it was, it was in a boxy charm. I think, not the icon box we just got, but the one before, the boxy charm, or ipsy, whatever it is, um, these came in there. These are just wonderful, but there's only five in here, you know, for, for your eyes. And I, after I use these, I'm not sure if I can justify spending $30, that's with tax, on five. So, we'll see. These are awesome, though, guys. They're, uh, what are they, Power, Ret Power Retinol Mask. Or it's called a Renewal Eye Mask. And the company is Steel. They have lots of other things. But this is the only thing that, you know, I just went in for this. Alright, the next is all palettes that I got. I ended up somewhere. I don't even know how I got there. That's probably why I should never do orders ever again for the rest of my life. Uh, it was some kind of beauty place. Instead of going to one place, it took me where they sell everything. You know, right, same prices, but... I don't know. Anyway, I got this, um, this is a Sigma eyeshadow quad in, it's called the Blueberry Parfait. This is just like the one that I, I demoed for you guys from Samantha Marsh, that special package I got. This was another one that I saw that it looked interesting to me and I really liked that little peach palette that she had in hers. So this is uh, part of that too. Then, and these, uh, let's see, let me set it here. I can show you these. You've already seen this one. This one here is the Artist Couture. This is probably the next thing we're gonna do. It's got, it looks beautiful. So, it, I guess it kind of depends on, uh, you know, my hands <laughs> getting straightened out because I don't know if you can see how warped they are yeah it sucks okay I have two little palettes from Rude Cosmetics and I know guys but I love Rude this is a this one's called Electro House 
Now this is a six, uh, they have six little things. It just, I mean, just look at this. This is, it's gorgeous. Hold on. I can't, um, there we go. It's so pretty. I, I mean, to me it's pretty. These, I can't even remember how much they were, but, um, I didn't know they were this little. You know how they can sure take pictures of things and make them look bigger? And then this one is called Dubstep. I, I do actually know what Dubstep is, even though I'm old. This, oh, it's, let's see, there we go. This is gorgeous out there, like, you look, like, oh my goodness, I know. I'll be doing these for you sometime soon. And the last thing, yes, the last thing before I say uh, one thing about what's on my face today. This is from Blend Bunny. I have absolutely nothing from them. And uh, my friend Tammy, she ordered from Blend Bunny. She ordered two um, palettes, and she loved she loved the formula. So I went in and looked up to see if there was anything uh, like super colorful. Let me, okay. Uh, have any of you got a Blend Bunny? They're not. It, I thought they were like hugely expensive. They're not. I, I was surprised. Okay. Alright, there we go. Okay, it's called Machina uh, at 24 Romantic Sci-Fi Shades. This is what it looks like. Uh, Alright. And this is the palette and I, I it's not again it's not doing it justice but if you look at this this says me all over the place uh, even though I didn't even notice until I was looking at it that I don't know if I can uh, they uh, set it up where you they go together I, I didn't even notice that until um, I was had looked at the palette. Probably, more than likely, that's not how I'll do it. Um, I might try one, pick one, and do it. Uh, I, I let me. I want just the uh, this one's called Cyborg, and I've been eyeballing this since. Oh, it's it's a this is a, a what are they called? This might be a satin. It, it doesn't show up very good. I don't know. Maybe you can see it right here. But, oh. Okay. Let's. Okay. This is probably why I've been eyeballing it. And I hope that you can see this. I really do. I don't know how. But it is absolutely stunning. Alright. Okay, one last thing, guys, and then I'll let you go. <laughs> uh, on my face today, my eyeballs, is the one that I had ordered from REM Beauty. It's this palette right here. Um, I don't really know what I think about this because I could not get... It, it took me forever to get pigment. It, I mean, the darker, dark colors were okay, but, like this one here and this this one here they I mean I just kept let's just pile on the entire thing um, and also I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up right here the dent that's in that that was just me running a brush over there and it did that I don't know but uh, 
you know, I'm happy with the way my eyes look, but mostly because I used a Victoria Beckham eyeliner to, you know. Anyway, I will let you know because obviously I'm going to have a second opinion on this. But for right now, I'm kind of disappointed because I really looked forward to trying one of these. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry if this is too long, guys. Um, if I disappear for a couple of days, you'll know why. Because I, uh, yeah, I'll have to have some kind of treatment. This might be related to treatments I have on Fridays. We don't know. But tomorrow I won't. I'll be going to the doctor. Okay. No matter where you are, I hope you are well. Take care. Have some fun. But stay safe. Watch your surroundings. You guys know. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> I can't. Bye, guys. Have a good one.